Well, hello there, YouTube. Oh, Kylie out there. Oh, pot belly Kylie. <laughs> she looks like she's about to go down, doesn't it? Oh, good Lord. Definitely cooler this morning. Although it has warmed up to 54, but it was like 46 this morning when I first got up. But, uh, yeah, talking about your crisp fall mornings. Look, you can't even see that mountain range out there. It's just in the fog. That's cool. I like it when the season looks like the season it is. <laughs> Alright. Let's start off a Tuesday. Y'all come on along. Sparky, Abby. Look at he's got that look like he's up something. He's moving his bones around. You notice he's got a little collection going on over there. Yeah. He's got that look like I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Well, there, little woman. Yes, an old man. It's Tuesday. It jumped over 10 degrees and way less fog oh, down yeah. here. I Considerably see, nicer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The old moon. The crow flying by. That's a very Halloweenish <laughs> looking thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have yourself a wonderful day there, little woman. You too. Have a you see you. Bye. <laughs> bye bye now. Guess what's in this lovely box? That's my new stainless steel Melanese Loop Apple Watch Series 6. Ah, dang. Look how it's just like embroidered in it. The Apple Tradition. That's, that's even embossed as well. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Your instructions and whatnot. Your uh, charging cord, magnetic charging cord. No, uh, no charge brick this year. And then. Oh, yeah. Ready to death, I'm gonna drop it. And then I got the Melanese loop again.
there she is. She's sitting on my Belkin charger at the moment, getting her all juiced up. So, uh, wow, is that thing faster than the three? I haven't heard what the difference is between the three all the way to the six. I know the six is 20% faster than the Series 5. But to me, jumping from a three, lightning fast. Whoa, mama. Anyway, had a, a super nice uh, visitor that watches the vlogs. He's looking at getting a spider. He had a 2014 and uh, got rid of it. He's back on gold wings and he's looking at going back to uh, spiders. And he's pondering getting a smoking deal on a 19 or going top class and going for a 20 or 21. But uh, anyway, uh, he brought up something and I did a quick look at my uh, comments here. I haven't even looked since I've been up this morning on uh, the post, the newest video, yesterday's video. Um, apparently I caused some confusion. <laughs> I beat that thing to death. I don't know. I guess there's new people coming in and whatever. Talking about the 4000 RPM on 08 through 2013 Spiders only. It has nothing to do with any other motorcycle the v twin 9, 990 and 991 rotax twin spiders 08 through 13. there's two reasons one involves the se5 the semi um automatic electric shift the reason you want to be over 4000 rpms is this this is a centrifugal clutch how this thing works is when it speeds up, these little bar, ball, <laughs> barbell looking weights ride out on this ramp and that's what gives it clutch pressure. That's like letting go of your clutch, but it takes RPMs for that to happen. Other manufacturers have used, though don't look like this, but similar things. Yamaha did something similar to this. But anyway, it's up to 3,800 RPMs before that clutch locks up. Keep it over 4,000 RPMs. The, I don't know what I do with it. Oh, it's in here. The reason you wanna keep, also keep it over 4,000 RPMs is like I said, the computer is controlling the evap evacuation. This is an electronic purge valve. This purge valve never comes on unless the bike is over 4,000 RPMs and the ECM decides it is, you're under certain throttle loads, RPMs, whatever, and it can sneak this thing open and evacuate the EVAP canister. That's the evap canister for, actually the ones for the 1330s look similar. This, the 4000 RPM has nothing to do with any other motorcycle, has nothing to do with 1330s. This is 08 through 13, 990 and 991 V-twin spiders. Now they use a hydraulic, I've showed you guys the hydraulics and how it, it literally has a computer the size of the ECM that runs the whole bike. That's how high tech the clutching is and shifting on the 1330s. So, evap canister, like this one, way overweight. This is your, uh, yeah, purge. I love, the, this is the one that it gets grossly overfilled it exits and goes to the ground they call it ocean <laughs> like dumping in the ocean it's weird how the languages get this is the one from the tank if you overfill your tank it pours fluid right in there this is the one that connects to the purge valve and then this goes to the rear cylinder if you have a california version um 990 and 991 uh it wise off and it goes to both cylinders and there's jetting and stuff like that, so it it's weird how it works, but you don't notice the difference. The other thing, overfilling the gas tanks. This is the 2010 RT AC audio and convenience package, 
and it is an SE, an SE5 model. This is how you shift it. No shift lever. No clutch. That's one, these are the ones that have the centrifugal clutch that I was showing you on the computer there. So, filling your gas tank, and this goes with everything. You can do this to a car. You can contaminate your EVAP system even on a car. Let's see if I can get a flashlight and a, but if you reach in there and you run your finger along the inside of that hole, you'll feel a pipe that's protruding down. At that pipe is where you want to stop. I thought I could get a view of that thing. There it is. There's the end of the pipe. Can you see that? You can just see, yeah, you can see the shininess of it. There it is. It may not be in focus. That's a maximum point. And with a car, they're designed for you to stick the nozzle in there and run it until the pump stops. These, the nozzle goes too far and it short fills it. And everybody knows that, so they pull the nozzle back and fill it. But you have to stop before it goes above that pipe. What I've discovered, and I've been doing this for years, and God help me for telling you this because somebody's going to do it wrong. So what I do is I run the nozzle until it shuts off. Then I back it off, and then I run it slowly. It takes forever. Run it slowly until you get the first little spit of fuel out these vents. As soon as you get any kind of a spit, that means it's reached the bottom of that that curtain or that pipe going down. And it's just venting, it just bubbles and vents out. Stop immediately, that's it. Do not go any further. And it'll just be a light little Don't throttle that fuel, the gas pump, go slow. And you can usually look down in there and you can see it as it's coming up. You know you're getting close. As soon as it spits, stop. you filled it as far as you can fill it. Now, all this bump in here, this raised area, the tank is just underneath this plastic. In fact, right here is the vent for the gas tank. You get too much fuel in there and the fuel splashes up and goes down. You might even be able to see the vent. No. It's under the plastic, the vent hose, it goes down to that purge valve. You're slowly but surely spitting fuel down in there. And on some vehicles, like a California Sportster, so to speak, that has the EVAP system, it just goes right to the tank. Or to the EVAP tank. So do not overfill them. And that goes with anything. Your car is designed that when the pump stops, that's all you go. The, it's coming up the pipe stop when the pump stops you can put a few cents more in if you're like me you want to stop with the cents on a zero or a five um you can tick 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 go to that if it stops at say you know twenty dollars and thirteen cents don't try to make it 21 bucks it'll spit out or it'll just keep going bang 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 and stopping just stop your tank's full enough you got a big old tank in the car so tank filling pertains to anything whether you know it or not, your bike most likely has an EVAP system in it. If you're Japanese, usually it's a California model only, but they can sell California models. I see California models come through here. But almost everything, and probably for 21 with the EU5 emissions, I think everything's going to have EVAP. California Harleys have EVAP. 49 states don't. BMWs are world motorcycles. Every single BMW has an EVAP system in it. It is a con it's going to be the norm. So some people, I don't, I wouldn't use such a thing. Uh, you probably haven't, don't even know it. If your bike is within five years old, you could very well have it. That's what I was talking about. Spiders, not other motorcycles or anything else. The tank overfilling. If you have an EVAP system, is always a thing. But it's the easiest thing not to overfill it. I don't get it. Just don't overfill it. Don't bring it up to the bottom of the cap. That That's going to leak somewhere anyway. Don't overfill it. There's no excuse for accidentally overfilling one. It's impossible. You're filling something up with fuel that's explosive. You need to be paying the utmost attention to what the heck you're doing. If you overflow and it gets down the engine cavity, your exhaust, you fire it up and take off with your little woman on the back, 
You could have a fireball on your hand. Do not overfill them. Common sense. Explosive gasoline. Don't mess with it. So everything I was talking about riding this motorcycle yesterday was about 990 and 991 twins. Go back in the videos. I talk about this all the time on the twins. I wasn't talking about 1330s, other motorcycles, anything else. Every car, by the way, has had EVAP systems in them for many, many years. So most people have EVAP equipped bikes and don't even know it. Alrighty, there's my rant for the day. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by this video, that's one rough looking spider right there. This is a 2018 RT Limited. That'll, uh, that'll be in tomorrow's discussion. I might even use this thing as a thumbnail. That is one um, used up, I guess you could say, looking spider. I know who owns it, and I know a story. It's uh, it's actually really cool. It it's, it's looks this way not from abuse. It's just uh, where she lives and uh, some other factors. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Well, there, little woman. Let's try to make it home and get some lawn cut tonight. All right. Let's bust it out. All right. I'll see you around Toledo. All right. All right. <laughs> Well, hello there, YouTube. I got her done. He did. No sense in even trying to show you. you just The light's not going to go that far. You'll have to trust him. Yep. we will have to show you in the morning. In the dark. Yep, in the dark. I don't know what time it is. It's got to be... About 7.30? No. Oh, yeah, maybe. It's a lot of twilight. Maybe quarter after. I, f I was going to look at the phone before I, <laughs> before I started the video to say what time it was. But I got it done. Thank goodness the headlights work really well on that John Deere. Yes. Yeah, without it, it'd have been stop. I, I was surprised how well they worked. That's the darkest I've ever mowed the lawn. That's pretty cool. That is. Even had a plug up at one point. Uh oh. <laughs> and I was able to do it in the dark. But anyway, got her done. It was a good day. Didn't ride anything. Talked about spiders. Kind of a, a touch back on what we talked about yesterday. To try to clear up some mass confusion that I appear to uh, start. And so. Oh, yeah. Hey, Annie. Hope that all makes sense to you guys. Oh, that we can roll out. Oh, get right. this grass off of me and <laughs> start my night. Alrighty. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to keep up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. All right. All right. In the morning. See you then. All right. Thanks for watching. Oh. Bye-bye.